So Ephesians 6.13 says, resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you'll still be standing firm. The battle's over. And we can be standing there next to God looking at the defeated enemy and thinking, oh my gosh, to think that he scared me. What a pathetic waste of space. Tink, 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 tink. Body armor. God has given it to us when we put our faith and trust in Jesus. He gives us his righteousness. You get in a situation where you're not sure what you're going to do and you're not sure if you can handle it. James says, if you need wisdom, ask God. He'll give you wisdom. And I can tell you personally, he has given me so much wisdom that I then ignored. Now I've tried a different tactic. I ask for wisdom, but I also say, is Jesus intimidated? There are times when I've asked Rhonda, and there are times when Rhonda has asked me, did Jesus say to panic? And we'll look at each other and laugh and we'll say to each other, when he panics, we'll panic. Does that mean everything's good? Heck no. (laughs) You know how long it's been since I've been able to find Cherry Coke Zero in the grocery store? (laughs) Of course I'm being facetious. But I'm not going to panic. Oh my gosh, did you see who got elected? Yeah, I'm not going to panic. Did you see what's happening in that city? Yep. I'm not going there on vacation, but I'm not going to panic. I'll panic when God panics. Because I've got his righteousness. It's my body armor.